PubMed is a free search engine accessing primarily the Medline database of references and abstracts on life sciences and biomedical topics. The United States National Library of Medicine (NLM) at the National Institutes of Health maintains the database as part of the Entrée system of information retrieval. From 1971 to 1997, Medline online access to the MedLars online computerized database primarily had been through institutional facilities such as university libraries. PubMed, first released in January 1996, ushered in the era of private, free, home and office-based Medline searching. The PubMed system was offered free to the public starting in June 1997. Content <inaudible> 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 In addition to Medline, PubMed provides access to older references from the print version of Index Medicus, back to 1951 and earlier, references to some journals before they were indexed in Index Medicus and Medline, for instance Science, BMJ, and Annals of Surgery, very recent entries to records for an article before it is indexed with Medical Subject Headings mesh and added to Medline, a collection of books available full text and other subsets of NLM records PMC citations NCBI bookshelf mini PubMed records contain links to full text articles some of which are freely available often in PubMed central and local mirrors such as UK PubMed central information about the journals indexed in Medline and available through PubMed is found in the NLM catalog as of the 6th of December 2018 PubMed has more than 29.1 million records going back to 1966 selectively to the year 1865 and very selectively to 1809 about about 500,000 new records are added each year. As of the same date, 13.1 million of PubMed's records are listed with their abstracts, and 14.2 million articles have links to full text of which 3.8 million articles are available, full text for free for any user. Approximately 12% of the records in PubMed correspond to cancer-related entries, which have grown from 6% in the 1950s to 16% in 2016. Other significant proportion of records correspond to chemistry, 8.69%, therapy, 8.39%, and infection, 5%. In 2016, NLM changed the indexing system so that publishers will be able to directly correct typos and errors in PubMed indexed articles. Topic. Characteristics Topic Standard searches Simple searches on PubMed can be carried out by entering key aspects of a subject into PubMed search window. PubMed translates this initial search formulation and automatically adds field names, relevant mesh, medical subject headings, terms, synonyms, boolean operators, and nests the resulting terms appropriately, enhancing the search formulation significantly, in particular by routinely combining using the OR operator text words and mesh terms. The examples given in a PubMed tutorial demonstrate how this automatic process works. Causes sleepwalking is translated as etiology, subheading OR, etiology, all fields OR, causes, all fields OR, causality, mesh terms OR, causality, all fields, and somnambulism, mesh terms OR, somnambulism, all fields OR, sleep, all fields, and walking. All fields OR sleepwalking all fields likewise soft attack aspirin prevention is translated as myocardial infarction mesh terms OR myocardial all fields and infarction all fields OR myocardial infarction all fields OR heart all fields and attack all fields OR heart attack all fields and aspirin mesh terms OR aspirin all fields and 
Prevention and Control, subheading OR, Prevention, All Fields, and Control, All Fields, OR, Prevention and Control, All Fields, OR, Prevention, All Fields. A new PubMed interface was launched in October 2009 and encouraged the use of such quick, Google like search formulations. They have also been described as Telegram searches. By default, the results are sorted by most recent, but this can be changed to best match, publication date, first author, last author, journal, or title. Comprehensive searches For optimal searches in PubMed, it is necessary to understand its core component, Medline, and especially of the MeSH medical subject headings controlled vocabulary used to index Medline articles. They may also require complex search strategies, use of field names tags, proper use of limits and other features, reference librarians and search specialists offer search services. Journal article parameters When a journal article is indexed, numerous article parameters are extracted and stored as structured information. Such parameters are, article type, MeSH terms, e.g., clinical trial, secondary identifiers, MeSH terms, language, country of the journal or publication history e-publication date, print journal publication date. Topic. Publication type, clinical queries, systematic reviews Publication type parameter allows searching by the type of publication, including reports of various kinds of clinical research. Topic. Secondary ID Since July 2005, the Medline article indexing process extracts identifiers from the article abstract and puts those in a field called Secondary Identifier The Secondary Identifier field is to store accession numbers to various databases of molecular sequence data, gene expression or chemical compounds and clinical trial IDs. For clinical trials, PubMed extracts trial IDs for the two largest trial registries, clinicaltrials.gov and the International Standard Randomized Controlled Trial Number Register See also A reference which is judged particularly relevant can be marked and Related articles can be identified. If relevant, several studies can be selected and related articles to all of them can be generated on PubMed or any of the other NCBI Entree databases using the Find Related Data option. The related articles are then listed in order of relatedness. To create these lists of related articles, PubMed compares words from the title and abstract of each citation, as well as the MeSH headings assigned, using a powerful word-weighted algorithm. The «related articles» function has been judged to be so precise that the authors of a paper suggested it can be used instead of a full search. <laughs> Mapping to MeSH PubMed automatically links to MeSH terms and subheadings. Examples would be, bad breath, links to, and includes in the search, halitosis, heart attack, to, myocardial infarction, breast cancer, to, breast neoplasms. Where appropriate, these MeSH terms are automatically, expanded, that is, include more specific terms. Terms like, nursing are automatically linked to nursing mesh or nursing subheading this feature is called auto term mapping and is enacted by default in free text searching but not exact phrase searching ie enclosing the search query with double quotes this feature makes PubMed searches more sensitive and avoids false negative missed hits by compensating for the diversity of medical terminology
Topic: My NCBI. The PubMed optional facility, My NCBI, with free registration provides tools for saving searches, filtering search results, setting up automatic updates sent by email, saving sets of references retrieved as part of a PubMed search. Configuring display formats or highlighting search terms and a wide range of other options. The My NCBI area can be accessed from any computer with web access. An earlier version of My NCBI was called PubMed Cubby. Topic: <laughs> Linkout. Linkout, a NLM facility to link and make available full text local journal holdings. Some 3,200 sites, mainly academic institutions, participate in this NLM facility. As of March 2010, from Aalborg University in Denmark to Zymo Genetics in Seattle, users at these institutions see their institution's logo within the PubMed search result if the journal is held at that institution and can access the full text. Linkout is being consolidated with outside tool as of the major platform update coming in the summer of 2019. Topic: <inaudible> PubMed Commons. In 2016, PubMed allows authors of articles to comment on articles indexed by PubMed. This feature was initially tested in a pilot mode since 2013 and was made permanent in 2016. In February 2018, PubMed Commons was discontinued due to the fact that usage has remained minimal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> PubMed for handhelds, mobiles. PubMed – Medline can be accessed via handheld devices, using for instance the Pico option for focused clinical questions created by the NLM. A PubMed Mobile option, providing access to a mobile-friendly, simplified PubMed version, is also available. <laughs> Ask Medline Ask Medline, a free text, natural language query tool for Medline, PubMed, developed by the NLM, also suitable for handhelds. <laughs> PubMed Identifier A PMID PubMed identifier or PubMed unique identifier, is a unique integer value, starting at 1, assigned to each PubMed record. A PMID is not the same as a PMCID which is the identifier for all works published in the free to access PubMed Central. The assignment of a PMID or PMCID to a publication tells the reader nothing about the type or quality of the content. PMIDs are assigned to letters to the editor, editorial opinions, op-ed columns, and any other piece that the editor chooses to include in the journal, as well as peer-reviewed papers. The existence of the identification number is also not proof that the papers have not been retracted for fraud, incompetence, or misconduct. The announcement about any corrections to original papers may be assigned a PMID. <laughs> Alternative interfaces The National Library of Medicine leases the Medline information to a number of private vendors such as Embasse, Ovid, Dialog, EBSCO, Knowledge Finder and many other commercial, non-commercial, and academic providers. As of October 2008, more than 500 licenses had been issued, more than 200 of them to providers outside the United States. As licenses to use Medline data are available for free, the NLM in effect provides a free testing ground for a wide range of alternative interfaces and third-party additions to PubMed, one of a very few large, professionally curated databases which offers this option. LU identifies a sample of 28 current and free web-based PubMed versions, requiring no installation or registration, which are grouped into four categories. 
Ranking search results, for instance, Eplast, MedlineRanker, Misearch Clustering results by topics, authors, journals etc., for instance, Annotate, Clustomed Enhancing semantics and visualization, for instance, Abimd, Medivy Improved search interface and retrieval experience, for instance, Ask Medline Babelmesh, and Pubcrawler, as most of these and other alternatives rely essentially on PubMed. Medline data leased under license from the NLM, PubMed. The term, PubMed derivatives, has been suggested. Without the need to store about 90 GB of original PubMed datasets, anybody can write PubMed applications using the Utils application program interface as described in. The e utilities in depth, parameters, syntax, and more. By Eric Sayers, Ph.D. Various citation format generators, taking PMID numbers as input, are examples of web applications making use of the Utils application program interface. Sample web pages include Citation Generator, Mick Schroeder, PubMed Citation Generator, Ultrasound of the Week, PMID2 Cite, and Cite This for Me. Topic. Data mining of PubMed Alternative methods to mine the data in PubMed use programming environments such as MATLAB, Python or R. In these cases, queries of PubMed are written as lines of code and passed to PubMed and the response is then processed directly in the programming environment. Code can be automated to systematically queries with different keywords such as disease, year, organs, etc. A recent publication 2017 found that the proportion of cancer-related entries in PubMed has risen from 6% in the 1950s to 16% in 2016. The data accessible by PubMed can be mirrored locally using an unofficial tool such as Medoc. Topic: See also Arrowsmith system Journal Review. Org.